Hello guys, recently I watched Dragon Ball superhero movie and it's a must see for fans that salutes one of the series best relationships, but newcomers interested in more than the fun of an action packed visual spectacle. Let me give you a brief on the movie story Commander Magenta, CEO of Red Pharmaceutical seeks to revive the Red Ribbon Army that his father Commander Red led and was ultimately destroyed by Goku. Magenta and his assistant staff officer Carmen seek to recruit Dr. Jiro's surviving grandson, Dr. Hido, a superhero-obsessed mad scientist who was released from jail after serving a lengthy sentence for grave robbery. Hido accepts the offer, despite his initial reservations, after Magenta convinces him that Capsule Corporation and the Z Fighters are evil organizations. While Goku, Vegeta, and Broly are training under Weiss on Beerus Planet, Piccolo is annoyed over Gohan wasting his potential while training the latter's daughter Pan. Piccolo learning that Gamma 2 was created by Hido along with Gamma 1 as superheroes to deal with the Z fighters and that Hido reluctantly used his grandfather's schematics on Cell to create an improved version. Piccolo makes a wish from Shinron to unlock his full potential. Piccolo learns of Magenta's scheme to kidnap Pan in order to lure Gohan into a trap. Piccolo volunteers himself for the kidnapping party and talks Pan into playing along. Improved version of Cell emerges as a giant, rampaging monster, while Bulma arrives with Goten, Trunks, Android 18 and Krillin as reinforcements. Goten and Trunks try to fuse into Gotenks, but their fusion technique is imperfect. Gamma 2 sacrifices himself in an attempt to kill Cell Max, but only succeeds in destroying Cell Max's left arm. As Piccolo restrains Cell Max, Goan's inner rage unleashes a new power and fires a special beam cannon, which kills the enemy. In a post credit scene, Vegeta has defeated Goku which makes the movie a must watch. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe to this channel for more updates.